In this section of the course, we will operate the training device. First, let's confirm that the servo motor is rotating correctly before connecting it to a device. Checking operation while the servo motor is coupled to a device may cause a serious accident due to unexpected movement. After confirming motor operation, connect the servo motor to the ball screw and run a test operation. From test mode, select jog mode. Once the dialog box appears, click OK. The jog operation screen appears. At this time, set the values for motor speed and acceleration, deceleration, time constant. Motor speed sets the rotational speed of the servo motor. The unit of measure is R per min, which is an abbreviation for revolutions per minute. Entering a value of 200 sets the motor to rotate 200 times per minute. Acceleration deceleration time constant sets the time for the motor to reach the set speed. This is also the time used to decelerate the motor to a stop. For this training, we will set a value of 1000 milliseconds so that it takes one second for the motor to reach the set speed of 200 revolutions per minute after starting. Milliseconds is the unit of measure for this setting, which means that a value of 1000 equals one second. Next, select the Stroke End is Automatically Turned On checkbox. Click the Forward CCW button. Once the dialog box appears, click OK. Then, click the Forward CCW button again. The ball screw should have moved. Now, click the Reverse CW button. The ball screw should have moved in the opposite direction. Now, let's try using Position Control. We will demonstrate Position Control operation by moving the indicator on the ball screw to point A. From Test Mode, select Jog Mode. Leave motor speed set to 200 while using the forward CCW and reverse CW buttons to bring the moving part of the ball screw close to point A. If the LSP or LSN limit is exceeded during this time, the servo amplifier will stop and alarm display appears. Once the servo amplifier stops, clicking the forward CCW and reverse CW buttons will have no effect. Turn the power off and on again. The alarm is cleared by turning the power off and on. Then move the motor in the opposite direction of that before the servo amplifier stopped. The motor should have moved again. Mechanical limits can be set in this way to ensure safety.